Hello everyone, Kasim Khan is here. Please subscribe my channel and press bell button for more updates. Uh, thank you so much. So guys, today we are going to learn about financial statement analysis. Uh, financial statements are the key reports of the company which provide uh, financial information to internal and external user of the company. It provides the basic information to all stakeholders. Uh, from financial statement analysis, we can identify what is the financial position of the company, where companies stand right now, what are the future plans of the company, and what are the near future uh, long-term investments of the company. So uh, financial uh, statement analysis determine the financial position and the financial health of the company, where the company stand now. So in this chapter, we will discuss in detail uh, with uh, how many methods, with how many framework we can do financial statement analysis and what are the basic uh, uses of uh, this analysis and how the financial statement analysis can help in decision making like any kind of decision, even this kind of analysis can be used by the uh, top management, internal user of the uh, company and external user of the company as well, like owner, investors, creditors, so every can, uh, everyone can use this kind of information. So financial statement analysis are financial statements. Uh, in this we will learn how we can prepare the financial statement and what are the basics financial statement from, on which we can perform financial statement analysis and the other one is a possible framework analysis in how many ways we can do uh, the financial analysis and what are the basic uh, elements which we required uh, to do a uh, financial analysis and the, uh, the last one is the ratio analysis the most common and the most useful analysis that is called ratio analysis basically determine the financial indicator and the values on which we can decide uh, what is the actual uh, financial position of the company so uh, here are the example of external uses of statement analysis you know uh, uh, creditors owner investor customer and so many other stakeholders are the external user of the company and the financial statements are the basic source from where they can know about the company what is the finance uh, where the company stand now and what are the internal and uh, condition of the company and uh, uh, so the first one uh, the most user of the company financial statement that is called trade creditors the creditors are those people who provide money uh, to the company. These are those institutions who give the funds to the company. So uh, trade, credit, uh, trade credit creditors are always interested to focus on the liquidity of the firm. What is the liquidity? Liquidity is basically how the firm uh, easily can pay their uh, business obligation. That is called the liquidity. If the firm is the most liquid in paying their ob obligation, it means that in their future there are less chances the company will depart. And if the company is Delaying their uh, uh, delaying their uh, obligation to meet the fund, it means the company is not in good uh, financial position. So uh, bondholders, bondholders are the, uh, focus on the long term cash flows of the fund. They check either the company is in this position, the company can pay the long term uh, long term payments. If if the company is promising something, uh, is the company in this position to pay that to pay back that uh, financial payments? And uh, shareholders shareholders focus on the profitability and the long term health of the firm. Shareholders invest uh, in the money they give money uh, on for the long term projects. And so they focus what kinds of the long term projects are uh, company will start in the future and what should be the company health uh, condition after that project so they focus on the long term vn and the mission plans of the company so uh, you know uh, um, businesses has been managed by the management in corporate uh, corporation structure so uh, these financial analysis statement analysis are also useful for the internal management as well for long term decision making and for some kind of uh, business plan plan focus on assessing the current financial position and evaluating potential form opportunity. So this uh, from this you can identify where the company stand, uh, where companies stand now and what kinds of the decisions company need to uh, like find out uh, future uh, opportunities and uh, they can also evaluate the current performance of the company as well. 
control focus on return on investment for various assets and asset efficiency so you know uh, more, uh, controlling is very important aspect in the business controlling and administrative uh, uh, administrative activity uh, make your organization more efficient and more effective so you also find out uh, what is the return on assets of the company and what kinds of the assets are less usable what kinds of the this investment decisions company need to be taken so uh, pressure analysis can also help in controlling and manage, managing the business operation so what is understanding focus on understanding how suppliers of funds analyze the firms so you know the relation between supplier and the firm is very important because supplier always provide the raw material and inputs goes to the company so you need to uh, with the financial statement analysis you uh, develop credit terms with your supplier and your customer so uh, if you want to develop a long term and trust able relation with your supplier so financial statement analysis to help you to create this kind of relation so primary types of financial statement you know uh, there are three basic financial statement one is the balance sheet the other one is the income statement and the third one is the cash flow statement balance sheet is a summary of financial position on a given date that shows total asset is equal to total liabilities plus owner equity you know uh, i will not explain uh, too much because everyone knows what is the balance sheet and here we can define income statement uh, a summary of firm revenues and expenses over a specified period ending with net income or loss for the period that is called income statement so here is the uh, sample of a balance sheet uh, basically this sample we will use in our ratio analysis so you need to know oh, cash and cash equivalent that is 90 accounts over 394 and 2695 so current asset total uh, 1195 and net fixed asset is US 701 so total assets are 2169 dollars so this is the left hand side of the balance sheet that determine the total asset so this is the right side uh, right hand side of the balance sheet which determine liabilities and owner equities uh, the total current liabilities of the company is 500 long term debt is 530 and the total equity is 1139 so the total liability and equities of the company is 2169 so these figure we will use in our ratio analysis so from where we can identify where the company stand now and what is the current position of the company here is the net income of the company net income net sales is 20 uh, 2022 11 uh, double to 11 cost of goods uh, goods sold 1599 gross profit 612 ebit 210 ebt is 159 and uh, earning after taxes eat is 91 and increase in retained earning is 53 so this kind of ratio we will also use uh, to identify the efficiency of operations of the company or uh, to uh, know about how the company uh, total product is going on so here are here is the framework for financial analysis there are so many ways uh, uh, with uh, we can test and we can discuss financial analysis and we can find out the ratios so here is uh, why we need to do financial analysis what is the basic purpose and what kinds of the uh, activities uh, we can perform with the help of financial analysis first one is the analysis of the funds need of the firm uh, basically uh, with the financial framework uh, we identify uh, what is the exact financial position of the company and uh, what are the sources of funds for the company uh, and what uh, what volume of the cash the company needed in the near future so uh, after this identifying first you identify how much fund will be required in the future and is there a seasonal component you know most of the time businesses are seasonal like ice cream business um, or drinks business so these uh, these kind of business uh, demand vary with the passage of time with the very uh, vary with the season so sometimes some businesses uh, funds required with season so uh, in this framework of analysis first you identify how much cash volume you require to manage uh, uh, your business then uh, you would uh, identify from which sources you will generate uh, you can generate the cash and if there, your business is seasonal then how you will meet the 
seasonal demand of your funds. So analytical tools use sources and use a statement, statement of cash flows, cash budget. So these kind of the sources you can, uh, analytical tools you can use to identify how much cash value uh, volume we need to uh, meet the current business fund requirement. So analysis of the financial condition and profitability of the firm. So uh, with this uh, financial analysis, we can identify what is the health position of the firm uh, in financial uh, matters. So financial ratios are basically individually, individually some ratios uh, give some uh, individual picture of the company, let's suppose like profitability ratio, you uh, just identify uh, where the company stand in terms of profit. Uh, if we uh, some asset ratio that give a picture what are the total assets of the company and where the company stand now. So over the time, uh, uh, with the over time, you just uh, do analysis of the company with itself. Let's suppose you do analysis of the company from last three years, from last five years. With this analysis, you identify uh, over the time period how company is going to be progress in what in what ratios company is increasing and in what. Uh, uh, financial uh, indicators companies are moving uh, uh, like moving in negative direction. So over the time period with the itself analysis with the company, you identify the clear uh, financial health of the firm. In combination, uh, in combination, basically, uh, you know, companies are uh, companies are performing in some uh, sectors, and there are some uh, other competitor and similar kind of business firms also uh, present in the industry so you compare uh, the uh, you compare the firm with uh, with its competitor like uh, we will compare the coca cola business with pepsi mcdonald with kfc and uh, honda with uh, toyota so there are many businesses many com competitor in the market you can compare the firm with the with its competitor how the company is moving uh, in financial indicators over the time period in comparison, in comparison, you know there are uh, industry averages as well. You can also compare the company financial indicator with the other company with industry averages, and you can identify where the company stand now and how the company is moving with industrial averages. If the ratios uh, and financial indicators are very far away or below from the industry averages, it means company is not performing. Well, as the other in the, uh, the other industry is performing in that same country, so with this way, with different uh, kind of uh, framework, you can identify what is the exact financial position of the company over time period. So, in the third analysis of the business risk of the firm, you know, business risk are associated with the with the every business, and it vary nature to nature of the businesses. And basically, these kind of risks are associated with macroeconomic uh, environment of the company. So, business risk relates to the risk inherent in the operations of the firm. Maybe you heard about the business life cycle, like uh, uh, first is uh, initial stage, then growth stage, then maturity, and after that decline. So, uh, business volume, business sales volume is not always same. So uh, there are inherent uh, risk which is associated with the business operation and there is a volatility in the sales and the cost of the company that ultimately changes over the time period. So how uh, the company will manage this kind of risk uh, and what kind of the strategies company will adopt to minimize and to mitigate this, this kind of the risk to like uh, uh, to minimize any kind of adverse effect in the future. So. Here are some examples like volatility in the sale, volatility in the cost proximity to break even point. So how the company uh, can take a good planning to minimize these kinds of the risk. So now uh, determining the financing needs of the firm, a financial manager must consider all three jointly when determining the financing needs of the firm. The company needs to, uh, uh, the manager and the top management needs to consider all these factors at one time and it need to determine the total funds of the firm negotiation with the suppliers of the capital. Obviously, the suppliers of the capital are the two basic like debt financing and the equity financing. You need to negotiate with them if you need more uh, funds in the near future. If you have a good kind of any opportunity and you want to uh, invest in it, you want to win it. 
So obviously you need to negotiate with the big supplier of the company so you can give a good uh, growth uh, of your business. So the use of financial ratios, uh, uh, I will uh, record uh, here was the just part, part one of the financial issues. Now I will record uh, the use of ratios in second part. Thank you so much for listening to me. Take care.